everyone. Thanks for listening to day four of unit five, Fall into Fall. And today, Curiosity has something to share with us that we use in the fall or autumn. Listen to the clues and see if you can guess what it is. This is something that you wear on your body in the fall. It has a zipper or buttons. Sometimes it has a hood to cover your head and it rhymes with packet. What is she trying to tell us today? If you said jacket, you are right. We wear jackets in the fall. Make sure to read our story that's in our Google Classroom called In the Fall. Every single year in the season called the fall. Some trees just lose their leaves, you know, they lose them all. They start drop, drop, dropping without ever stopping. But there's no need to worry or to make a fuss. Cause some trees just lose their leaves cause they're deciduous. Deciduous? Deciduous. That's right. The word's deciduous. Now leaves can fall on the street or a bike or a bus. They can even fall on any one of us. But the trees can't help it. And that is because... That's what trees will do when they're deciduous. Deciduous? Deciduous. That's right, the words deciduous. So leaves will blow all over or fly up in the air. Yes, autumn leaves can blow most anywhere. They will fall off the tree till the branches are bare. I guess it's kind of like somebody losing their hair. But there's no need for crying. And there's no need for sighing. Cause spring will come and then they'll fill with green leaves again. Cause they're deciduous. Uh-huh. The words deciduous. What's that again? The words deciduous. Deciduous. Our wonderful word today is clothing. Clothing is what we wear to cover our bodies. In the fall, we wear clothing to help keep our bodies warm. A pair of jeans is clothing. Shirts and socks are clothing too. Clothing. The things that we wear to cover our bodies are called clothes or clothing. Shirts, pants, skirts, hats, and socks and shoes too are all examples of clothing. The elephant, the hippo, and the bear are all wearing clothes with polka dots on them. Let's look over at our daily message. Listen for our wonderful word, clothing. In the fall, we wear clothing that helps us stay warm. Listen one more time. In the fall, we wear clothing that helps us stay warm. Did you hear the word clothing in our message today? You're right. The word clothing is in our message today. Good listening. What is the letter that we have been learning about this week? You're right. The letter is Y. And the sound that the Y makes is Y, Y, Y. Let's go ahead and look to see if we can find any Y's in our message. Let's look at the word in. No. No. No Y's. No Y's. Let's look at the word where. No Y. Look at the word clothing. No. The word that. No. The word helps. No. The word us. No. The word stay. You are right. That is 
a lowercase y. I'll put an underline underneath it. And let's look at the word warm. No y's. So let's count how many y's we found. One. We found one y. Let's go over two words that start with the letter y. Y, year, y. Year. Y, yak, y. Yak. Good job. Do our rhyme a fall home. Some people call the autumn fall. I think you know the reason. For when the leaves come tumbling down, it's the falling season. Today we will play a game with, with curiosity called the nonsense game. I will say a line from our poem and you will say whether it is correct or if it is nonsense. If it is correct, say that's right. If it's not, say, that's nonsense. Are you ready? Listen while I say the rhyme. Some people call the autumn chicken. I think I know the reason. For when the leaves come tumbling down, it is the falling season. Was that right or was that nonsense? That was nonsense. Some people call the autumn fall I think I know the song. For when the leaves come tumbling down, it is the falling season. Was that right or was that nonsense? You're right, that was nonsense. Last one. Some people call the autumn fall. I think I know the reason. For when the leaves come tumbling down, it is the falling season. Was that right or was that nonsense? You're right, that is correct. Let's look at our math moments. We're going to count with curiosity from 1 to 15. Counting is fun. Let's count to number 15. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We did it! All right. Let's look at our bears again today. What is different about these two bears? You're right, they are different sizes. So we are going to sort the bears by their sizes. Which bear is bigger? This bear? bear bigger than that bear? No, it is smaller than this bear. So let's go ahead and let's look at our bears. Is this bear this size or this size? 
You're right. It goes in this group. Let's look for another bear. What about this bear? Is this smaller than this bear? Or is that the same size? Which group does it go in? This group? No. You're right. It goes in this group. You're right. Let's do one more. What about this bear? Does this bear go in this group? No. Goes in this group. Good job. We sorted the bears today by their size. Make some patterns. Everybody line up. That's good. All right, we got red, we got blue. Hey, there's a green and a blue. Switch, switch. Thank you very much. We got red, blue, green, and yellow. Okay, now line up by number. Let's see. 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 Thank you very much. Okay, we got yellow, we got blue, we got green, we got red. Now the yellows are one, blues are two, the greens would be three, and red would be four. One, two, three, four. Yellow, blue, green, red. Let's see. Next. Next. detectives at home in the fall fall festival and story workshop what area are you going to play at today thanks for listening to day four stay tuned for day five with mrs stubbs